Hello everybody, welcome back to this year's Tropical Update for August 28th. We're currently watching two invests in two areas of interest over the Atlantic right now. One of the areas of interest in the Western Caribbean Sea, another area of interest in the Eastern Atlantic just off the West Coast of Africa. We're also watching Invest 91L in the Central Tropical Atlantic as well as 92L in the Central Subtropical Atlantic. We'll begin with the stuff close to home and the area of interest in the Western Caribbean Sea. We're watching portions of Honduras in the Yucatan Peninsula where potential impacts due to the Storm National Hurricane Center saying a 20% chance formation within the next five days. However, we don't know exactly where the storm is going to go. It kind of depends on its strength. If it does develop, it'll take that more northwestward trajectory towards Mexico and the Gulf of Mexico, likely staying in the southern portion of the Gulf if it does develop. If it doesn't develop, though, I'm going to probably stay uh, heading west and enter into the Pacific Basin. So we'll talk more about that here once we look at the models shortly. Invest 92L located over the Central Atlantic, as you can see here, a naked swirl, basically. A few clouds around it, but all the clouds over it, as you can see, are over it. Those, those rain areas, yeah, they might be coming from it, but they're moving, you know, not in a circle. Uh, so it's simply not a tropical cyclone, but it does have a closed low pressure system, at least at the mid-levels, as we can see on the satellite. So that looks cool. Now, sure, Hurricane Center saying a 10% chance formation within the next 48 hours. After that, it probably won't develop uh, due to, you know, it being in the northern part of the Atlantic, where we normally don't have tropical cyclones. No threat to land regardless, but still something to talk about, uh, you know, because we don't have enough to talk about. Invest 91L located over the central Atlantic. As we can see here, it does look like we do have full mid-level rotation with this storm. But as we can see, once again, the convection is not well organized with this one yet, but it's there. The convection is certainly there with this storm. Uh, and perhaps on the south side here, we are finally getting some sort of actual swirl with that. Not sure if that's just, you know, the past few frames trying to look fancy or, or what exactly, but just something to keep an eye on this storm. Very large. Remember, we've been watching it consolidate over the past few days. National Hurricane Center now saying a 70% chance of formation within the next five days. That moves north or near the Leeward Islands, where we do have a tropical alert in effect for them and portions of the Virgin Islands as well. Wind's already at 35 with this one, so it is a gale force low. Uh, and so we, we could see a tropical depression or storm by the later part of the week. Again, I'll talk more about that once we take a look at the models here shortly. Behind that, another area of interest, another tropical wave. Going to be near Cabo Verde, going to be making its way to the north side there. 20% chance formation within the next five days, likely going out to sea if it does develop. Again, once we look at the models, you'll see what I mean by that. The impact map, nothing too crazy today as we see our two storms that are, have somewhat of a center to them. Uh, outside of that, we do have those areas marked in blue that could have minimal impacts over the next seven days. Uh, and again, Nothing too crazy yet. Again, all those impacts minimal for now, uh, but we could see changes down the line as would be expected because um, everything's a while away from land if it even does hit land. Here's the European model as we see that Caribbean air of interest, everything goes into the Pacific and even then not all the storms developed that. We have Invest 91L potentially affecting the portions of the Greater Antilles and Bahamas and about half of those model solutions Note, though, that it's weaker if it does that. If it's stronger, it makes its way to the north and potentially goes out to sea. But again, this is only seven days from now, and there's a lot of land ahead of it if it keeps on moving in that direction. 92L, only a few models help that thing develop. We're watching an air of interest uh, as well over there. Again, as I mentioned, that'll turn north and go out to sea well away from land and another tropical wave behind all that, as we can see there. The GFS brings it out a little bit further, but still turns it north away from land. Uh, more model support for Invest 92L developing. Doesn't really like the prospect of 91L, especially if it stays weak into the south. If it does that, it has it dissipating out. If it goes north, only a few of the ensemble members project it. It does like that Caribbean area of interest though, and it's liked it this whole time for, for some reason. If it develops, great, but if not, uh, really bad false positive with that one, because uh, wow, like it, like it has, has been consistent. On developing that storm and really that's the only reason the hurricane center still cares about it is because the GFS is going crazy with this developing it in the Caribbean and then uh, you know 
sitting there basically for, for five to eight days over the Yucatan in southern Mexico, potentially the Gulf as well, gaining a little bit of strength there if it makes it that far. It, who knows what's going to happen with this likely week, but, you know, we could see something else out of it. We'll just have to see. So, again, watching those two invests as well as two areas of interest, four areas to watch here today. I'm sure it'll get busy as we continue throughout the week. That's all for now. Chris, stay tuned for the Catholic Media.